Hi, uh, my name is Sunil. Uh, we are on the rooftop of Ajanta Meadows apartment located at Akshay Nagar, Bangalore. Here we have done rainwater harvesting in this apartment. This roof is about 1300 uh, square meters. What we have done here is the water which falls on this roof gets conveyed through a downtake pipes. 14 downtake pipes are there in this apartment. The water goes through the filtration process and goes into the sump. This is water from the uh, sump gets recharged into the ground. Uh, this is the basic principle uh, which is implemented here. However, for this to work very effectively, it's very important that we maintain the, the roof very well. So there are certain parameters which has to be strictly kept in mind. Say for example, they should, uh, this roof has to be maintained very clean. There should not be any chemical coating on the roof. Uh, you should not use the roof for bursting crackers. There should not be any utensil wash here. And there should not be any pet uh, allowed into the roof. They should, uh, you know, you should avoid uh, playing holy here. And whenever you clean the roof, it's very important that you know you use only just plain water and don't use any soaps or detergents uh, to clean the roof. By and large, what you should keep in mind is this is the water which actually goes into the sump and goes into your water circuit. So essentially, you should treat this as a catchment and this water actually goes in for your drinking. So if you contaminate the roof, you are, you are actually drinking contaminated water. So it's very important that you keep the roof very clean at any given point of time. Uh, these are the general instructions yeah, as soon as you uh, enter the roof okay you can see these instructions there are some instructions here there's also instructions at the entry points of the roof and there are boards put up everywhere on the roof so i request you to please follow all these guidelines for effective working of the system now let's go down and have a look at the conveyance mechanism and the filtration mechanism so now we are at the basement of the building see uh, the water from the roof comes uh, comes here there's a grid of pipes which is done all around the periphery of the, of the building and the water from the rooftop is conveyed to the filtration plant through these uh, pipelines. So now uh, this is the entire uh, filtration plant. Okay, so as you saw there is a catchment, then there is conveyance and this is the uh, filtration unit. The filtration unit has three parts. One is on this side called a first line separator. This is a rain barrel or a sedimentation tank and uh, this is a upflow uh, rapid sand filter okay. so the all the water now uh, comes through the pipeline uh, this is called a first end uh, separator so there's a y joint given here so the water first getting in before getting into the filtration unit comes in this uh, column of uh, pipe okay so water gets uh, uh, held up here so only after this much water fills up in this column then the water will overflow into this uh, uh, rain barrel. So it's important that you know after every rain, the water in this column is drained out. So there's a valve given here. Okay. So if you open the valve, so all the water will uh, drain out from this uh, pipe. Okay. So after the uh, draining of the entire water, it's important that you keep this closed the water builds up in this uh, water column the excess water that's the overflow from this first line separator gets into this uh, rain barrel this is actually a sedimentation tank so this also acts like a first line separator so every time it rains only after the water builds up in this uh, tank the excess flow or the overflow from this tank gets into the next filtration unit so any sedimentation or any dirt or any dust in the water gets settled in this uh, rain barrel. So the water in this rain barrel cannot be used for any portable use. So there's a tap given here. You can use this water either for car wash or gardening or any other non-portable use. So but it's essential that you know you keep the uh, tank empty try to use it as often as possible so that at every rain at least half of this tank is empty and sedimentation happens effectively so once the water fills up in this uh, uh, rain barrel the overflow gets into this uh, filtration unit okay this is the uh, filtration unit it has two chambers okay this uh, sizing and design has been done for a catchment of 1300 square meters Okay, so if you can come close by, I will show you how the working of this uh, filtration system is. This is the filtration unit. The water from the sedimentation tanks comes uh, comes like this. This splashes stone provided to spread the water. Then there are aggregates 20 and 40 mm. 
and then the water goes like this and this is the a layer of cinder from the cinder water gets into the layer of uh, activated carbon and between each layer there's a nylon mesh and the water further upflows into a 20 mm layer water gets filtered like this and then gets into the sump so this is the pipe through which the water gets into the sump parallel to this also one small pipe uh, given here say if you want to uh, sample the water for testing you can open this valve uh, collect the sample through this nozzle and send the water for water test uh, since this is an upflow filter there will be some amount of water which will, will remain after the uh, after the rains so this is deliberately done so that every time it rains there's an automatic uh, backflow so after the rain it's important that you know you open this valve and they know the water which is uh, uh, stored in in this tank this will backwash all the filter filter media and gets drained out so the filtered water gets into this uh, sump if the sump overflows the water gets uh, into this recharge mechanism this recharges the borewell thank you very much